real? Joining me now is Arizona Senator John McCain. He is in Kiev, Ukraine. Senator, thanks so much uh, for being here. This is your fourth trip to Kiev since protests started roughly a year ago. Uh, now there are talks for a ceasefire. I know you just met with the prime minister and the mayor of Kiev. What is the latest? Does it look like a ceasefire will happen? It really doesn't, Jake, because what uh, Vladimir Putin wants is a uh, frozen situation where he has control of the east and uh, continues his efforts towards a land bridge to Crimea. Uh, and the, there have been hundreds of, of Ukrainian soldiers killed in the last week. The hospitals are full. You know, a, a week or so ago, he moved in militarily with some thousands of Russian troops, armor, uh, other capabilities uh, that, including drones, by the way, and the Ukrainians simply cannot. Uh, they're brave and they'll fight and they're not asking for us to fight for them, but uh, they're just overwhelmed and it's really tragic because we refuse to give intelligence information and weapons to Ukrainians to to defend themselves. It's, it's really shameful. What specifically do you think the United States and, and, uh, and other Western countries should be providing for the Ukrainians beyond intelligence? What, what specific weapons? Well, as, you, as I just mentioned, armor has poured into eastern Ukraine and uh, that requires anti-armor capabilities. We also have to give them some long-term training. Uh, Jake, their, their military capabilities declined rather significantly all the, over the last several years. They've, they've literally got volunteers fighting now who obviously are not trained, and, and the Russians are very good at killing. Um, and could I say, I, I also believe that we have to understand that if Vladimir Putin succeeds here, takes eastern Ukraine, a land bridge to Crimea, next is Moldova, and next is the Baltic uh, states, uh, and what he has suffered in response to this, this naked aggression has been minimal. Well, you've talked, you've been very critical of the Obama administration and President Obama for not doing enough uh, in terms of isolating Putin and obviously not doing enough in terms of providing lethal aid uh, to the Ukrainians. Isn't the big problem uh, right now, though, the fact that the Europeans, the Western Europeans, aren't really, uh, haven't really demonstrated a willingness to, to put sanctions on Russia with any teeth because their economies are so intertwined? Aren't, aren't the leaders of, of Europe, our allies there, really the ones who need uh, to be pushed to punish Putin further? Oh yeah, they, they have uh, been minimal in their response. They've talked a lot and done uh, very little. A uh, little bit of good news, the uh, French suspended the sale of a couple of warships to the Russians, only suspended. Uh, but first of all, we have to lead. Second of all, we can do uh, uh, sanctions and hope that, uh, that the Europeans will follow. But right now, we've got to give them some weapons to defend themselves. We've got to give them some intelligence capability. If you give me th a second, I'm not making this story up. After, after this thing started, we debated and debated, and they decided to send MREs uh, to Ukrainians. But they didn't want to fly them in in American airplanes. I'm not making this up. So they hired, uh, they uh, rented Russian, uh, excuse me, German trucks to bring the MREs in. And everybody said, if you assist the Ukrainians, it will provoke Vladimir Putin. I think it's pretty obvious that what has provoked Vladimir Putin is our total weakness because he feels he has a free hand. And again, there are hundreds of Ukrainians that are now dead. There are many hundreds. Their hospitals are full with these brave young people, and they deserve our assistance. And they're not asking for our boots on the ground. All right, Senator John McCain in Kiev, Ukraine, thanks so much for joining us. Coming up, to some, they look more like characters from